different state amendments. Most of them are pretty confusing to understand. So this week, News 5's Emily DeVoe has been breaking down each one. Last night, we went over the first four. Tonight, Emily picks up, picks up where we left off. We continue our deeper look at the 14 amendments on the ballot with number five. Don't spend too long trying to figure out whether or not this one's important. Political analysis John Gray says it's really just an editorial change to the Constitution to replace the word department with the word branch. To change the Constitution, everybody has to vote on it, even if we move a period, even if we change a capital letter, and in this case, even if we change the words describing divisions of government. The bigger amendment you should worry about is number six. Amendment six is one of the more controversial amendments on the ballot this year. It clarifies a two-thirds vote requirement in the Senate for impeachment. Six is the Bentley get out of impeachment free card. State Auditor Jim Ziegler argues a supermajority requirement is too high, but supporters like Craig Babb argue that if lawmakers want to change the vote of the people, it needs needs to be harder than a simple majority. It's the same level of vote to remove someone from office as, uh, as the U.S. Constitution, and it makes perfect sense. Amendments 7, 9, and 10 don't even apply to us on the Gulf Coast. These are things that are just specific to these counties. They have no impact on the rest of the state. Whether or not sheriff's deputies are supervised by the county commission or the personnel board in Etowah County, these are things that needed to be decided on the local level. So my recommendation would be if you don't live in one of these counties in 7, 9, and 10, I would skip it and move on to the next issue. Amendment number eight makes sure the Constitution solidifies Alabama as a right to work state, meaning you don't have to join a union if you don't want to. A vote yes will protect Alabama's status as a right to work state. A vote no will leave things as status quo. We will remain a right to work state, but it could be changed by a vote of the legislature in the future. With your on the ballot update, I'm Emily DeVoe, News 5. And to read a better explanation of these amendments and those we discussed yesterday, head on over to our website, WKRG.com.